Hi guys, it's Stuart here from Airshow World and today's tutorial is uh, a quick fix to be able to get, in my case, OBS Studio working. Every time I went to run it on some of my computers I kept coming up with an error like this and the error message was fail to initialize video. Your G CPU may, may not be supported or your graphics driver may need to be updated. Well after updating my graphics cards and lots of other things, nope it wouldn't work. Uh, but I found a fix and this um, works absolutely superb. What it is, it's um, especially on Windows 7 I found um, this problem and um, basically you need to download the uh, direct X control panel yeah now in the description of this video you'll see as normal with most of my videos I've put a direct download link okay to check if you've got the um, thing installed in the first place the control panel what you'll do is do a run command and it's D XCPL direct con X control panel um, it's not in here because it's not needed because as I said this is Windows 10 okay but basically what it looks like is this little baby here okay so you would run that so run that as administrator yes and this is what it looks like okay so the direct X properties so we want to add an executable in other words a program we want to um, put an exception in here for this program to work so what you do is you click on the um, edit list that button there okay and there it is okay that's because I've already been here before but to show you whereabouts it is go into your C drive okay go down to program files yeah and we want to look for OBS Studio. If it's a, a game that's not working, exactly the same. You do exactly the same procedure. So if you've got a, a video game that's not working, all right, you do the same. Okay, so go into the program. Okay, normally it would be located just here. For some reason, it's hiding in bin. Okay, and there we go. There it is. It's normally a little icon. Okay. And because it's um, saying here, um, just show the .exe files, that is the only one which will show. Okay, so you click on that, click on open, and it puts the information there. Click on add. Okay, say okay to that. And the important step you must remember is click on force warp. Okay, then you'd click apply and then say OK and basically that's it OK so remember this fix is to be able to get programs working if you get that error coming up or something similar it's normally to do with the direct X OK thanks for watching the um, video don't forget we've got lots of other videos on uh, the channel Airshow World um, lots of aircraft videos something like about 450 different videos now uh, as well as um, tutorials so um, thanks for watching hope it was useful and um, hope to catch you on the next one oh don't forget to subscribe thank you